moving the file or the payload file that you've created on Armitage to the target machine is not easy actually. And it happens through lots of channels of social engineering that we will learn later on in this course. But for the sake of giving you just a teaser, I will now create a payload and attach it to a JPEG file. We go directly to the Windows machine and this is the virus payload that we created earlier, the .exe file. I've downloaded a nice image from the internet, the smiley face, and I have converted it to, the, to an ICO or icon image on JPEG to ICO, which is a free website. So now we have three files. You have to install as well. You have to install WinRAR for this purpose. So just select these two files, the payload file and the JPEG file. Right click and select add to archive. We want to create an SFX archive. SFX is a self-extracting file. So once you double click on it, something will happen in the background. And what we will do now is that we will let the user double click on it and just see a JPEG file being displayed. And I, But actually what's happening in the background is that the virus or the payload is being run as well. So select SFX archive, go to the advanced options, select SFX options, go to text and icon and just select this icon then go to the modes and in the silent mode select hide all so the user will not see what's happening in the background then go to the setup and select the program that will be run after the user double click on the file so we will run this jpeg file and we will also run this virus101.exe now we're ready so we have this test trojan here you can rename it to whatever i'll rename it to screensaver and here you go you have this nice little file which is screensaver.exe you can send it to any user just for the sake of this demo i'll create a new file here and move it okay if you go back again to Kali you'll see that there is no session happening here or no connection for compromised target so from the Windows machine you just double click on the screensaver and here you go a very nice JPEG image will display if you go again to the Kali machine you'll see that session has been created for this target machine and this has been compromised again you have a Metropetro session here that you can use to interact remotely with this compromised target and here you go this is a screenshot for the compromised target so happy hunting